Good evening, everyone, and welcome to The Daily Wrap. I'm Darkside Phil, and today was Sunday, the 24th of July, 2022. Fun day today, a uh, good variety of stuff, and kind of returning back to normalcy after having almost a week where we were handling two major new releases that both concluded over the last couple of days. On the Level 1 podcast, we covered a variety of topics, notably my final thoughts and almost kind of mini reviews on both As Dusk Falls and Stray both of which I've now completed the playthroughs of right here on DSP Gaming. So if you're interested in my final thoughts on those, check out the Level 1 podcast from earlier today. The first gameplay stream today was Fable Anniversary, which was fun to get back into after about a week away. We actually completed the entirety of the arena, and then we jumped into the rest of the game, uh, taking over this, this graveyard mission where the undead were raising and finding a way to sneak into basically the back door into a, du- a dungeon in the said dungeon slash prison, freeing your uh, mother from a jail cell. It took a, a while to get through all this, um, and that was pretty much the, the entirety of the stream. It was all major story development with a little bit of grinding. I think for about a half an hour, I did a little bit of grinding to try to level up a little extra and get extra renown in the world. Um... <clears throat> However, when I went to upload the videos, the whole first hour video of me going through the arena and beating it and all that corrupted. Yeah, still having this corrupted issue. I didn't have one in several weeks, and now it happened again. No commonality between when these these things corrupt. It just happens. Um, So, <clears throat> when it corrupted, I basically tried a feature on YouTube that I had used previously, but then I couldn't find it, and now it seems to be back. So, here's the thing about YouTube when you stream. YouTube will auto-archive your stream as a video backup so that if you need to reference it for anything, you can see it. Now, you can leave it public if you want, or you can make it private. You can make it unlisted so only people who have the direct link can see it. There's many things you can do with it. In this particular case, because the archive stream was still there, I can do one of two things. I can either actually edit that archive stream down to the length of the hour that's missing, rename it, and have that be part of the playthrough, or... You can try to take a clip or trim out of that stream and make it a whole other separate video. So it would be like, for example, um, how can I explain this so it makes sense? So you have an apple, all right? You either cut the apple in half and that half is there and that's what you have, or you take a picture of the half of the apple. It's hard to explain because that would, that's not a very good comparison. But basically, it's like the original video is physically changed to be that length and permanently changed so you can't ever see the full stream again. <clears throat> or you take just a snapshot of that one hour video you want, make it a whole new video separate from the stream. The stream remains untouched over here and you have a second video that's a copy that's made. I guess that's the better way to explain it. The thing is, I wish I could have done that all the time. I did this two, three months ago when I first was having issues with corrupted videos and it worked and then the the feature disappeared. It's back as of today. So within 30 minutes of noticing that the video was corrupted, I was able to do a trim, save as a new video and part nine was live. So far, no one's complained. Apparently it works fine. So I guess this feature will work in the meantime until I end up getting a new PC and a new setup so videos will stop corrupting. I guess this is our solution is to narrow out missing videos and cut them out of the stream as their own separate deal, okay? So the videos are live. You can watch them. They should be fine. If part nine seems to be slightly trimmed wrong and there's a little extra on the beginning or the end, that's why, okay? The late stream tonight was more multiverses. The new Smash Brothers-esque fighting game from WB Games featuring all different characters from Warner Brothers properties. Tonight, I unlocked the Iron Giant character. I had enough in-game currency from yesterday to buy that character and start using them right from the get-go. They're pretty good. They have a unique feature of transforming mid-match, which I didn't understand because I didn't play through their tutorial mode. I still had a lot of fun with them, and then I actually played a little bit more with Jake, uh, Taz, and Wonder Woman and got much better with those characters, ended up winning a lot of matches tonight and having some good times with it. Um, What I'm seeing from my audience is a mix. Although, admittedly, some people seem to like it. Others are like, nah, don't really like the game. Smash is better. Uh, As for support, it's rough. Like, two nights in a row that I played this game, almost no support. Tonight, the only reason we ever even got any reasonable support is because at the last minute, someone did a $34 tip out of nowhere. Yesterday, it was kind of similar until like the last 30 minutes. It was incredibly slow for support, and then all of a sudden, a few people uh, supported at the end. Now, is this because this is a different kind of game? It's not a standard old school fighting game. It's not 
a narrative based game it's smash i don't usually play smash brothers i remember when the when smash brothers came out um twice now actually remember there was the smash brothers game that was the cross play well it wasn't cross play but first it came out on the 3ds then they released the wii u version of it i remember that one and then the latest smash 2 basically didn't get a lot of longevity in support if i remember when i actually played the latest smash the campaign mode that got more support than when i played a multiplayer i i don't know what it is about me playing these kind of games multiplayer they, they people just don't support it for some reason i'm it happened three times now you know two smashes ago the last smash and now this game that's kind of smash all never seem to get much support the thing is i'm liking the game and i'm actually learning the abilities of the characters and getting better at it and having fun and i am winning matches and unlocking characters without having to spend any money which is cool that it's a free-to-play game that you can do that so i'm not against playing more multiverses but i need people's buy-in that they're going to support it not that i'm going to have a night where it's like incredibly low support and I kind of just have to accept that. You know what I mean? So, I had a blast. People seemed to enjoy it. Support was low until that final tip that came in out of nowhere, which I really appreciated. Um, so let's talk. Tomorrow, Final Fantasy VII resumes. I know it's been on hiatus for about a week for the new releases. It resumes tomorrow. We pick up right at the Temple of the Ancients where there is giant story developments um, that advance the game basically into its next phase. So I'm excited for that. I really love this playthrough. Remember, I pledged to you that I would keep Final Fantasy VII as a main gameplay stream as long as people show up, engage, and support the streams. So far, you guys have lived up to that agreement. So I'm excited to bring it back tomorrow, and hopefully those who have been craving Final Fantasy VII will come back and participate in that stream. Tomorrow night, we're doing something completely and utterly different. If you want a laugh, attend my late night stream at 6.45 p.m. on Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're checking out a game called Fighter's History. This was a game that was a blatant attempt to ride the coattails of Street Fighter 2, as well as Mortal Kombat in the 1990s, and it, it was so bad of a ripoff, Capcom sued the game developer Data East, saying that they had ripped them off and, and copied their idea. They lost in court, all right? But you are going to laugh at this game. It has hilarious stereotypes of characters from different regions of the world, the things they say when they do these attacks, the attacks themselves are so ridiculously unbelievable. Seriously, if you want to have a great time laughing at an old school fighting game that everyone kind of... Like, for example, the Street Fighter movie. Everyone laughs at the 1990 Street Fighter movie starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. It's so bad, it's good. That's basically fighter's history. It's so bad, it's entertaining to watch because it was so stupidly made. So I hope you'll be here tomorrow for that. That's going to be a fun one-off stream. Why are we doing that? Because it was just added to Nintendo Switch Online, the Super Nintendo port, that is. So why not mess around with it just for one night, right? So tomorrow, Final Fantasy VII and Fighters History. Thank you for a great day today. Please, everyone, have a good evening. I'll see you in the morning. Peace out.